hope you are doing fantastic. I am doing great. Greetings from Minds. Today, I want to bring for you a different story, something that you've never seen on my platform. I have an amazing guest who's gone through so much in life, but today she's standing in front of us strong and telling you that you can make it. Imagine traveling to a foreign country. You lose your son, you lose your husband, and together with other challenges. I don't want to spoil the story. I wanted to tell the story of her. I hope this gets to inspire anybody who's having a hard time. As usual, I am Philly Yambo Makora, and this is the Tales of Yambo. to have you here. Thank you, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this interview with you. It is such a great honor. You are all welcome. Welcome. <laughs> so and you're looking amazing. You're looking oh. pretty pretty amazing. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sure now the viewers are now wondering who is this idiot. Tell us, I mean, how did you grow up? Where did you grow up from? Yes, uh, I am from Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, coast province, mm -hmm. but nowadays it's Mombasa, uh, Taitaita, Taveta County. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, but we were living in Mombasa mm -hmm. with, with my parents until I was grown up. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I have one kid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. So now you've grown yes. to Mombasa. Mombasa, you went to school in Mombasa, yes. you went to high school in Mombasa. Yes. Okay, and then tell us what happened after that. Take yes. us through your journey. After that, my parents went back to home. Mm -hmm. my, parent, my mother was working in uh, Taveta. Mm -hmm. uh, she was a nurse. She was working as a nurse. Mm -hmm. Yes, and... Um, Then I, I got, um, I, I, after finishing my high school, mm -hmm. I was in college. Mm -hmm. After college, I got married to an African man. Ah, in, a Kenyan man. Yes. Ah, but in Kenya, fantastic. Really wedding, but come with stay. You know? Ah, the traditional yes, one. Yeah. But you know, that's also valid, you know, because in Kenya, once you stay with somebody for six months yes. under the same roof, that we, is your wife. We lived together for nine years. Yes, we were having a son. Uh -huh. Yes, one kid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so, and what happened after this nine years? So the, after nine years, I, I got a job in Egypt. Uh -huh. So, um, but we were not on good terms. Uh, so I was back home to my parents' home. Okay. Then I got the. I, I have to travel to Egypt for work, mm -hmm. so I went to to Egypt to work in as and I, good luck I got a, a job, okay. a good job, mm -hmm. but you know this uh, Arabic uh, is <laughs> only for 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 um, house manager. Yes, ah, house, so it was a, uh, it was a job as a house manager. Yes, as and a house manager. Yeah, and maybe take us through the process for the viewers. Like, how do you get these jobs? Because I'm sure there's somebody from Kenya who's watching and they're thinking, oh, I yes. can go to Egypt and get. Um, there was a lady, but she, she died. So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So she rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Yes, she, she, she was from Taita also. Mm -hmm. And I talked to her, my friend introduced me to her, mm -hmm. and she paid for me visa and tickets. Uh -huh. Yes, and oh, tickets. God bless her. Yes. Uh -huh. So when I went there, I was paying her every month. Oh, you had to pay back the money the that she back, yes. Okay. So I paid for one year, then... Um, then you finished, finished, you finished your day. Yes, okay. yes. So, the, so after one year, I stayed in Egypt. But before I was starting, um, 
I was starting searching for a white man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was always oh, interested. Why, why, why specifically white man? <laughs> yes, I was always interested to have a husband, a white husband, a white man. For, yes, uh -huh. but so, something different. Something, something different. Okay. Yes. Interesting. So, mm -hmm. While I was chatting, I was uh, searching, searching. I was also having a Facebook group, dating group, but it was closed, yes. Mm -hmm. So, one day I find, uh, I was, you know, these groups uh, for Facebook, for dating groups, mm -hmm. when somebody commenting in somebody's post like that, mm -hmm. like that, you can know this is the girlfriend for this. So I was having a boyfriend in Facebook. Yes. A Facebook boyfriend. Yeah, Facebook Why are you in boyfriend. Egypt? Okay. Yes. So I saw this lady, she commented to my man, what what? So <laughs> <laughs> then I check her profile. Mm -hmm. After checking her profile, she was having a picture for for a man in the cover picture. Mm -hmm. So I checked, who is this man? I find the man is called so and so. Mm -hmm. huh? So okay. So I had a village, you know, I started <laughs> chatting with that man. <laughs> you did. <laughs> okay. Yes, I started chatting with this man. Mm -hmm. He was a daughter from Germany. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gerhard, he said, you know, he's so resting place. Okay. Yeah. We'll get yes. to that. We'll so place. I started, I started, hi, hi, like that, like that. Mm -hmm. Then I asked him, is this your girlfriend? Then he said, she said, he said, no. He was, he told the girl, the woman, to put his picture in his cover picture to hurt another woman. <laughs> so, wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. So, this guy uh -huh. is telling this woman uh -huh. to put his picture as the cover picture. Yes. As revenge for somebody who broke his heart? His heart. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yes. So, so I said, okay. So we continue chatting, mm -hmm. chatting for one month. Mm -hmm. I was in Egypt for one month, and then he said, I think I have got the right woman. And what? Because uh, I want the viewers to really get into this mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. So while you're chatting, how was the chatting uh, uh, like? Because I know uh, online dating is still a mystery to so many people. Was it? How was he chatting? Was he uh, communicating? Yes. How were the messages? Mm -hmm. Were they kind? Were they loving? Mm -hmm. So a gentleman, so gentle. Mm -hmm. So we were just friends just normal friends okay but later he said he has feelings for me so i said okay so one day we started chatting so love what was then so you've, now, you've now exchanged numbers, numbers now you've yes. gotten away from the, the facebook group. yes now you're yes. having direct communication so before we, uh, i gave him my number he changed the relationship status oh relationship with me so everybody wow <laughs> your friends in egypt yes. and 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 uh, your family also yes. they are seeing this yes, right they now. are seeing this yeah. okay but i i said it's okay for me i said it's my life mm -hmm. and i need to be happy mm -hmm. so after one month Talking wait, wait, before we go there, yes. now your ex husband has he seen this? Yes, he and, saw uh, and, this. and now because you know, obviously, you're but sharing a child, um, there is no conflict okay. there, or? okay? Before that, I, will, I took my child to my parents. Ah, okay, so yes, I so took my child to my parents, we were broken, and you're broke, so that one is there. finished, that one That's is history finished. at this point, but the, I have friends. His sisters are there, brothers, and mm -hmm. so they saw that. Okay. And they said, Edith, what is that? <laughs> I blocked them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so this man, he was very angry, the African man, yeah? So he went up to my parents. Mm -hmm. But there was no, no traditional, no... Like it was not price, a price, uh, no. ah okay. 
for those nine years we were living together. He hadn't paid yes, his he hadn't the paid. dowry. No. Okay, no. so you were just like boyfriend and girlfriend. girlfriend. Yes. Okay. So he went, he told my mother, okay. Okay, he told my mother, it's okay, I'm coming it's home. Okay. I'm coming home. Then he, he came and talked to my father. Mm -hmm. Do you know Gehari said? Mm -hmm. My father asked, is Gehari said? Mm -hmm. So my father, then he, he told him, he told my father everything, what is going on in Facebook or not. Mm -hmm. Then my father called me and asked me. I told my, my dad, you know, this is my life. And if I am not happy, I will, uh, this man I have got, I, he loves me the way I am. Mm -hmm. Yes? And he makes me feel complete. Yes? So, so I told my, my father, so he has to accept because he has not, for nine, in nine years, he was not taking this um, uh, this chance for coming home and, and doing and the doing official, official yes. and doing it the customary yes. way, the right way. Yes. I totally understand. Yes. And you don't need actually to apologize to, to anyone. You can yes. be with whoever you want. You want so yes. if that one didn't work, it is not it problem. Not, yeah. Now tell us about Gerhard. He's so, now sending you nice messages. So nice messages, chatting and small talk. Yes. One day he told me, I have stress. Excuse <laughs> me. I don't know what. <laughs> I told him, what is the problem? <laughs> then he said, I have... He was living with his ex-wife, but there the was angel. separation okay. for seven, seven years. Mm -hmm. They sleep separate, but in the same mm -hmm. apartment, yeah. Hey, this, this woman, she bring his friends. It is at night, I have to sleep. So, so, and he was sleeping in the living room, and the, the woman was mm -hmm. sleeping in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So I told him, like a joke, yeah, like a joke. I told him, come to Egypt, no stress. Then he said, tomorrow I'm going to book a ticket. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. And he booked the ticket. He booked the ticket and he came. So when he came, I was not because this this woman she paid for me uh, the the ticket and visa to go to Egypt. We were living together like ten women in the same apartment. Mm -hmm. But I uh, I told her what is going on. I have this man is coming. Mm -hmm. What can I do? Then she said, let him come. Then we look for a, another apartment for you. Yes, because you don't know if he will come or not. Mm -hmm. Yes, so so when he came, we, uh, they, she told me, so as we look for another apartment, we leave you here with him. So we, we stayed there for some oh, months. Wow. Yes, yeah. those are amazing people. Yeah, those yeah. are people you were working with. Yes, and and they will just accommodate you like this. I, I, you're really blessed to have such nice people. Yeah, some she people. Was have like, she was like a ma my mother in oh, Egypt. Yes, okay. Very nice. Yeah. So now you're here with this guy in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Egypt. Then we decide we can look for our own apartment. Then we start bringing. Ladies mm -hmm. from Kenya to Egypt, like an agent, yeah, like agency. An agency. You bring them to do this house yes. manager. So we look for a three-bedroom house, three-bedroom house. But here in Dochi is different. Mm -hmm. Three be sleeping bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yes. So as we are using one and the two for like six girls, they are there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just to demystify, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of negativity uh, about people going to other countries to work as a house manager, yeah. could you tell us just, just briefly mm -hmm. if it was safe, if it was legal, and and if the girls were working under good conditions? They get paid. Okay. Yes, and sometimes they have, if you want, you can stay, to, you live in your employer yeah. house yeah. for maybe for a month and take four offs or you take you stay two weeks and have two days off mm -hmm. like that like that yes 
So, all right. So now you and Gerhard are doing this now to earn a living. You, yes. You know the agency. But I was working while I leave him in the house because he was in okay. pension mm -hmm. and rent in Dutch. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was in pension. I leave him in the house, mm -hmm. and we brought like uh, four ladies mm -hmm. in that time. Okay. But so during the so he came 2014, 2015, mm -hmm. May, and we stayed there up to 2017. Mm -hmm. Yes. So 2017, I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yes, when we were in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So I said, ah, it's better I go back to Kenya because mm -hmm. we tried to apply visa in Egypt, embassy, German embassy. But they said no until you got married. Oh, uh, you wanted visa to come to Germany? Correct. Okay. To give birth here. Okay. But they said no, it's better you get married, then you can apply for the visa. Mm -hmm. Yes. So so I said okay, so the pregnancy was five months. Mm -hmm. Then we decided to go back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there is what my life started. Sad life. Yeah? So uh, immediately when we reached in Kenya, I started becoming sick. Huh? Sick. I was not having blood pressure in my life, but it came. Yes. Oh, so uh, the doctor said, ah, this and this, what, what, we need to remove the pregnancy because. All your organs are affected, kidneys, liver, because of the high blood pressure and the pregnancy. So we have to remove the baby. Now yeah, she was six months pregnant. So we have to remove the baby. It's okay. Then they remove the baby and we're. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so I'm so sorry. He cried, he cried for one week, crying, crying. Because he was, she was the, his first kid. Gerhard's first yes, kid. Yes, Gerhard's first kid, yes. yes. Oh, so, so we went to Kenya, uh, it was October. That October, our kid died. And we, we were planning for our wedding when we were in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So when we come to Kenya, we we went, all, my parents were arranging all that. But after, when I came, I became sick. So we stopped about the wedding. We first did, had to deal with that. Yes, we did with that first. And did you have anybody to to take you through this process? Because yes, losing a child is very sad. Every time she was there, she stayed with us for three months. Yes. Okay. We were living in Mombasa, so she she came. Okay. Yes, and oh, my aunties are in Mombasa. All they co they come to visit us and encourage me. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it was it was okay for me. Mm -hmm. So on um, so 20, 2018, yes, we got married, mm -hmm. and um, after getting married, you know, the visa process you have to. To make uh, termine appointments, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So we got appointment October. Mm -hmm. So we went together to to the embassy because mm -hmm. his document has to be verified in mm -hmm. in, in Kenya. German mm -hmm. embassy in Kenya. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. After that, I got appointment October for my visa mm -hmm. for the interview for the visa. Mm -hmm. So I traveled alone because he said ah, he can stay. At home, I traveled alone. My sister was there. She, because I don't know good Nairobi, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yes, yes. I, I, I know Mombasa more than the Nairobi. Nairobi. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So my sister was there, and she took me to the embassy. Uh -huh. That day was okay. Then I waited for October until end of February. My visa was out. This is still so 2019. 2019. Yes. Um, before we continue, just take you back. Um, you had a child from the previous marriage. Yes. How, how did they interact with Gerhard? Did, oh, was there a good relationship? There, very good, very good relationship. 
Mm-hmm. One day my son came. We were when they clo- he, he closed the schools. Mm-hmm. He always come to Mombasa and live with us. Mm-hmm. Yes. One day he came to the kitchen. I was cooking. He asked me, Mama, can I call Gerard? Papa? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I, I told him, it's your choice. When you feel it's okay, you can call him Papa. Mm-hmm. Yes. So mm-hmm. from that day, he called him Papa. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. And Gerard loved you. Very much. Very much. Yes. Okay. Very much. Yeah. So now it is 20, end of 2019, you've gotten your visa. Yes. You're now preparing to come to, yes. to Germany. So what was the plan? Both of you come first and then you bring your son Some later. later. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. So we were, the visa came end of February. Mm-hmm. So and we plan uh, and travel to here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like end of March then. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So we came. We were living because he, he was living with his ex-wife in Munchen. Mm-hmm. So we got a friend here in Mainz mm-hmm. and she told us you can come here because there you, you can't return there with me. Mm-hmm. We have to start afresh. afresh. Mm-hmm. Yes. <clears throat> so we came here in Mainz. So we were living as self again. Mm-hmm. Before the month April was ended. And I got a job just near here, mm-hmm. the, like five minutes walking mm-hmm. in a hotel. So mm-hmm. this man say, "Ah, oh, so she got a job. They have money." The old, the person who was giving the the person who was giving you accommodation. Yes, uh-huh. yes, she got a job. So mm-hmm. now they have money. So she, they have to pay the rent. So we were paying one room. 400 there, euro. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, so we start living there, and I don't know what came to his mind. Mm-hmm. And starting tell us we have to look for apartment before September. Okay. So you have to move out from the beginning. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. So this stress, stress for him, cared. Mm-hmm. He was having a lot of stress. We every time we go to the to to, to we have an, an appointment for looking for the apart, uh, apartment, we don't get it. They said our income is very low mm-hmm. and so on. Oh, so but thank God we got an apartment, but also a gay, but we were having two homes: bedroom and living room and kitchen okay. we are sharing. Yes. So that was uh, yes. The same year, 2019, I got pregnant. Okay. Yes. That time, I was, my pregnancy was like mm-hmm. seven, uh, like five months, mm-hmm. and he told us to go out. So he's kicking you out, yes. and you're heavily pregnant. pregnant. Okay. Yes. But so again, started to be sick. Stomach pain, stomach pain. We went to the house doctor. They said you have to go to the Kanken house in the hospital mm-hmm. to check what is because they see gas in the stomach. Mm-hmm. Something is blocking them. So he went and I was pregnant, mm-hmm. you know. The stress, but thank God the baby survived. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they check. They check the um, what is going on, they make CT scan all and they find they find that um, something is blocking in the intestine. Okay. Uh, and they make the test and they find out that they are having a, he was having um, cancer. Cancer was oh, no. Okay. Yes. Oh, so at which stage? It was um it was a uh, no, they said it's two stage. Okay, so, yes, two stage. Mm-hmm. Stage two, yes. Mm-hmm. But they check in the liver, they find a spot. Okay. Yes. So they said so for 
2020, January, he has to start chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. And they have to do the surgery to make the intestine out mm -hmm. so that they can use the packet mm -hmm. so that when they make the, the when he do the chemo, mm -hmm. yes, to, 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 to the cancer to be yeah. to reduce to it. Reduce it. Okay. Yes. Mm, so okay, so that was October I was seven months. Oh, I'm so sorry. Every day I have to go to the hospital to check your mm. husband. Yes, to check my husband. I, I was working in that hotel. Oh, they still I, let you work? Yes, yes. Okay. What, what were you doing there exactly? Uh, I was working as a house dummy. You know, okay. Your cleaning. Housekeeper. Yes. Housekeeper. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cleaning the rooms and yes. Okay. yes. Mm -hmm. and spreading the beds. Yes. So I was working there. Sometimes they give me only breakfast sometimes yes because i was maybe pregnant and this stress for my husband is sick so, so thank god uh, the, the my chef yeah my, chef boss. Of, my yeah. boss was very with good heart i have to go alone to to see the apartments because my husband is in, in the mm. hospital mm. so I took my colleague and uh, I asked her to help me because she know a little Germany and I was you're new, you I was don't new, know the language. Yes. Yeah. I was new, I don't know the language. It was difficult for me. My husband was the one doing everything. Oh okay, so I accepted everything. So we went with her and did this uh, this uh, this man for the apartment he accepted us oh yes finally some good finally, news yes but he didn't know i was pregnant mm -hmm. i was wearing a big jacket so. <laughs> <laughs> i like how you smile okay yes yes uh, he didn't know i was pregnant i was mm -hmm. wearing a big jacket so yes. he accepted us and we went with him to the hospital and mm -hmm. we signed the contract mm -hmm. my husband signed it mm -hmm. Uh, after like two weeks, I was staying there. Mm -hmm. Then my husband came, came yes. went to the apartment. To the apartment. Okay. So we lived there until I got the give back in February 2020. Mm -hmm. Yes, then we have to look for our own apartment. Mm -hmm. But before that, we got uh, a letter from Sochai Aunt, mm -hmm. Landis Aunt, mm -hmm. for. Cheap, cheap for the yeah, and you so get shallow. subsidized, you get yes. subsidized rent. Yes, subsidized the rent, yes. Mm -hmm. So, good good luck. 2020, we got this apartment. Okay, okay. this yes. one that we are staying. Yes, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. So, we paid everything. We were saving a little money because for, mm -hmm. you know, it's expensive in Dutch one. Yeah. Yes. Then on September, we got this apartment, we start living here, September 2020. My son was... Oh, so I gave birth on February, a son. Yes. Yeah, yes. congratulations. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, so... Um, so that September, so we decided... No, before that, before we came, we were already make a part appointment for my son, my son in Kenya. My okay. mother will take him to the embassy on April. So we came end of March and we go to the apartment um, September. September, yes. And your no, mother no, no, is not taking... September, April 20, 2019. 19. When we came here 2019, we have already booked the appointment for my son to come to Dutch. Ah, yes. okay. Yes. So, uh, but they went and, you know, they have to send the papers here mm -hmm. and they know where we are living. Yeah. And that time we were living in the beginning. So, mm -hmm. they didn't give him the visa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, we said, okay, we have to wait. Until you get the proper apartment. Apartment, yes. So, that September when we moved here, 
So and my husband is, is doing the care. Mm. He's becoming more weak every day. Mm. I have to sit here and take care of him. You have a son to take care. I have care a son to take care. Mm -hmm. So September I will say um, September we try to 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 make appointment or what what. I think he didn't make it or what, but it's okay. So, uh, October, October, my mother called me and she told me that hey, we have to take your son plus it to the hospital. He was having tonsils and he was converging high fever, high fever converging. So we took him to the hospital. And that time, they went to with my mother to his sister to visit in Voi. So we live in Taveta, then we, they went together in Voi. So my son said, ah, so mama, nya, nya, leave me here, I will play with other kids, then you can go back to Taveta, I will stay here. So that day, the sister for my mother was taking him to Taveta, then he confided in the Matato, yeah. yes. The bus. Then immediately they took him to Voli Hospital. Yeah. So my mother told me, "Yes, your son has a very high fever." And I told my mother, "Make a video." And I see him. Then I see him. He was swollen here very much. And then I asked him, and the head was also swollen. Him. He converged and fall down or not? But it's, she said no, he didn't fall down. So okay. So after two days, what were the doctors saying? They said the infection went to the brain. The tonsils. The tonsils for for the yes okay. infection, bacteria infection went to the brain, and he was not talking. He was just lying there. Yes. So after two days, they see the condition is more worse. They went and make the CT scan and everything. And they find the water in the lungs, in his lungs, and in the head full of blood. Oh, so my mother told me, do you have the number for, for his papa? Then I said, do you have the number? Then I told him, they said this number they are calling it's not going. So I told him, I told her, no, I don't know another number. So they, my father, one day my father remember, ah, one day this man called me with another number and I saved it. Then they called him. So I told him, why you want to call him? And then she told me, it's very serious now but they did told me he's that he died wait yes up to this time yes. you don't know that you no 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 dead. that time that day okay when they were asking the number for the yeah. father for my son they didn't tell me immediately that he died i'm so sorry yes so then i told him serious which serious then my mother, she told me, yes, I guess, I'm going to na magic kwa kwa lungs, na blood kwa brain. So, kawabe alikuwa, sema, yes, I'm kufa. Oh, I was so shocked. This death got me very, very in a short time I can't travel I have a sick husband I have a small baby I could not travel it was very tough for me <coughs> so but I thank God it was becoming more strong every day so they arranged everything he was buried and so we said, oh, maybe it was God's plans. 
because it was God's plans. Because when uh, maybe God wanted him to die in Kenya, because when he died here, they could say that I have killed their, their son. Yes, so I accepted. accepted I'm so said, sorry, um, it is, yes. that is that is so painful, and I don't want you to was, even pretend that I it don't was understand very, what you're very going painful through. for me. And every time I look at this picture, my heart always yeah shock. But I, you know, I have to accept. Yes. But I thank God he was giving me a lot of strength and my pastor, she told me every day I have to read the Bible and pray God will give you strength every day. Yes. So I went to my house doctor because I was having a problem here, headache. They said my blood pressure is more high and I told her all what has happened what it was. and they told me so they will look for counselor to counsel me. Yes. So they look for appointment for me because he can't do anything. He was not able to do anything. He's in hospital at this time. No, no, no. He was here. He in was the here house, in the house. Okay. But he can't. Um, he has no energy for. So always, uh, if I have problem, I go to my house doctor and ask ask them to help me because I don't know the language very well, yes? So I started uh, on 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 died in uh, October. Then January 2021, 20, yeah. I started school, mm -hmm. yes, but he was there and I can leave him there the milk for the baby in the woman. Mm. In the morning I have to give him breakfast. Mm. So mm -hmm. yes, so later he, he can just take the milk and give the baby. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mm. After three hours I, I come yeah. back home. Mm. Yes. Like that, we help each other like that, but he was going down, going mm. down. Yes. So there was a time he was very, very weak. One day I was out in the supermarket and I left them sleeping with the baby. Then I came home. The good thing I came home quickly. When I was opening the door, I heard something. Poof. He came running very quick. He was carrying the baby. And he has no energy. Yes, he fell down. But he fell down and hold the baby very tight. The baby was not hurting. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I said, from now on, I can't go outside and leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I resign my job and stay at home. And good thing here, when you are taking care of a sick person, the cranky cancer, I don't know. Health insurance. Yes, health insurance. They can pay you okay. when you're taking care for the sick person. Mm -hmm. So we applied for that. Mm -hmm. My house doctor helped us. We applied for that, and I was paid, being paid because mm -hmm. he was given great uh, flaky girls try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they were paying me for that. Twenty twenty one, I go to school and come back home. Oh, Quickly, quickly, but sad thing I didn't pass B1, so and it's okay. it was it's okay. Fine. Yes, it was fine. I said, ah, I'm repeat it, no problem. So, on um, 2021, like August, there, because he was very weak, then the doctor said they have to change the medicine for chemo, chemo instead of the drips. They give them the medicine, medicine. Yeah, oral medicine. Oral medicine. Yeah. Yes, chemotherapy, oral medicine. Mm -hmm. So he was becoming more weak because the chemo was making him all kaput. Mm -hmm. Yes. So on maybe August there or uh, no November, he was he was also having problem for lungs. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, because he smoked very much. He was smoking, but when he came to me to eat it, I told him, you have to stop. And he stopped. The, and he started to help. Okay. Yes, <laughs> he, he stopped. But this problem with the chemotherapy, it has made the, his lungs more weak mm -hmm. and he was having problems for breathing. Yeah. So every time in the hospital coming back, in the hospital coming back, then they find out the cancer has spread in his lungs, mm -hmm. liver, kidneys everywhere. In the so yes, on November he was taken to the hospital and he didn't come back. I'm so, sorry. Yeah. So he didn't come back. On 29 November he died. But before that, I used to go, we used to go to with Ronnie, to my son, son, to see him. Yes. And I have the videos there and when they make it here. But it's not to show me Okay. So <clears throat> on Saturday before he died on Monday, I went there alone. My friend she said I will come and stay with the baby and he will come home. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I went to the hospital, he was active. Mm -hmm. he, the, the whole time, the whole month he was not eating good. But that day he ate. Mm -hmm. Ate to your gut. Eh, then I said, ah, so now you're getting better. So I, so my dear yes, I'm getting better and then I told him why the doctor they said they have to be ready for anything can happen to you. Then he said that you have to to be ready also. So that day I found him he was very okay. He eat and on Sunday when I went there, he was just there lying but breathing. No no the eyes were closed. He's not talking. Monday, also like that. Then at night, I got a call. He went to the Lord. I am so sorry. Yes. First of all, I want to really commend you. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're seated here and you're telling your story, yes. you should be very proud of yourself. Yes. Because um, for a person who's gone through what you've just said, mm -hmm. to get out of it and say, I have the strength to continue going on. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want to tell you, you should be proud of yourself. I am very proud of myself. Very proud. Right now, I feel very strong because mm -hmm. I feel like it's an experience making me a more stronger woman. And I am. <clears throat> I hope maybe God will give me another kid. I don't know, but I hope so. Yes. So let me ask this question. So how are you now today as we sit So today, today I feel very, very strong because this journey for my husband, I was already prepared. Okay. I was, my mind was already prepared. My heart was already prepared that one day you will go, you'll be gone. So this was not so hurtful like for my son. So my son was very, very hurtful. Up to now, I always have that feeling. I always think when I go back to Kenya, what will happen? Yes, because I have not gone since that time. I have not gone to Kenya. So, so I'm waiting when I go to Kenya. I will not see my son coming to the airport. So that will be very, very hurtful for me. But. I will, I will survive. I will make it. <laughs> yes, you yes. will make it. You will make it. And I, I see really a great future for you. Yes. And you don't know this, but you are an inspiration to many. I'm sure those who will hear this story mm -hmm. will be like, if, if she can go through all this. Because yes. when we come here to Germany, we try to show the outside um, everything is okay with us, everything is okay with our lives. Mm -hmm. But everybody has some kind of struggle. Yes. And the, the fact that today you stood, you're seated here in front of cameras and you told us what you've been going through. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm really, really proud and honored to be here. Yes, thank you. And may the soul of your son rest in peace. Yes. May Gerhard rest in peace. Thank you. Yeah.
And so right now, what are you doing with your life? So after we died, we buried him on December. Then from January, I said no. I um, I got a um, social worker, mm -hmm. and she arranged for me so that I can get a kindergarten for my son, because mm -hmm. I have nobody to live with my son, mm -hmm. and I need to progress. Mm -hmm. I need to to go to, to school. To to go school. Yes, yes. Continue to go to school. Mm -hmm. So they they get me. They got me a part uh, kindergarten mm -hmm. for my son. In January he started, and on January started B1 again. Ah, nice. That is 2022. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you passed it right now, you So I, I passed the B1 last year. Mm -hmm. So this year I have started in March B2. B2. Ah, congratulations and here. The exam is on September. On September. Oh, we wish you all yes. the luck. And what do you plan to do after you've gotten okay. B2? Do you so, have any kind of career you want to do? Yes, I want to do either nursing or medicine mm -hmm. for, for, um, for praxis. Okay. So that because the praxis, it's better for me, for the kid. Mm -hmm. I can have time with him. Mm -hmm. Weekends and that's is not full time yet. And, oh, we wish you all the best. Yes. All the best. And I know Thank you're you. going to make it with this heart of resilience. Yes. 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 Oh, and uh, do you have anybody new in your life right now? Yes, I'm dating somebody, a German man. Uh, so okay. we're having a little, like six months dating now, yes. And we are planning maybe this year we can live together. Yes. Oh, we wish you all the best for that, yes. to be honest. All the best you deserve all the best and all the happiness in the world um, and i saw you have a youtube channel yes i have Tell a, us YouTube about a youtube channel. channel it's based on life cooking blogs my life experience with my baby yes it's called edith kisel and family so people can go there, go there and, and subscribe. subscribe. So guys, please go to that YouTube channel and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Let us support Edith. That is amazing. Yes. 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 So, so if you were to say something to mm -hmm. your son right now, um, you can look at the camera and this one. Yeah, the the late the or late. both. Oh, okay. Yes. My son uh, plus it. I know you are in at, at the Lord, you are with the Lord, with angels. I know one day we meet together and I know you are in a, in a good place. I know you are happy and you can have everything you want. You wanted here in, the, in this world, I could not afford, but now you have them there. I still remember you and may your, rest, may, may your soul rest in peace. And my late husband, Gerard Selva, you show me what is true love. I really appreciate you for what you have done to me. All, I, I was never luck. You always care for us. And may yourself also rest in peace. One day we will we, we see each other. Yes. And to your son, who's my sleeping. son, Ronnie, I love you very much. You have a little challenges in your life, but I know you can make it. You're a very strong boy. You can make it, and we can make it together. I know you support Mama and encourage Mama and make Mama very proud what you do in your life. You love singing, you love keyboard playing, playing with your keyboard, you love. And I will make sure, encourage you to do it and provide you with everything you need. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now, the pattern shot. Now you're speaking to that person watching this mm -hmm. who is in a situation where they think I cannot make it. This is just too much yes. for me. And that person who's also going through something but is scared to speak out, to tell somebody or to ask for help. Mm -hmm. A word of encouragement. Find a oh, word so of encouragement. 
So if you have to anything like this when you are going through with this, like me, what I have gone through, I know for some people it's very, it's a lot. But for me, I feel I am strong. Yes, and um, I can really encourage, if you are Christian, you can read your Bible and pray and tell God, give me strength, give me and you don't think about it and give you happiness. It's okay if you feel very depressed, it's better you go to the doctor. Because I had here a lot of women or men, they become more stressed, more depressed, and they have problems for mental health. And that is not good. When your mental health is not good, then you cannot take care of your kids. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, here, yeah. Kraken has a health insurance. They pay for everything. So, take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of that. Yes. Thank you so much, Edith. Thank yes. you. It was such, such a great honor. Mm -hmm. You sharing your story with us, mm -hmm. amazing, thank you. And we are wishing you success. Thank you. We will check in in a couple of months to see if you passed your B2 yes, so that I we will. can celebrate. I will. Yes. yes, and we are wishing you all the best in your career path. Yes. And obviously you are now part of the Tales of Yanbo family. Mm -hmm. We will be calling you back and back yes. and back to we'll continue go. encouraging people yes. to tell them it's okay. Even with hardships, like you say, people should look for help, should look for something, something that, they, that can lift them up. Thank you. So guys, you've heard this amazing story from Edith. Yeah. So don't forget to go support her YouTube channel. Please go to her YouTube channel, subscribe, support her. And if you want to get in touch with her, you can write her on Facebook or inbox her. If you need some kind of help or if you think that you're going through something that she's gone through and you think she can help you, please reach out to her. So what have we learned today? We've learned today that you have to be resilient no matter what. We all have problems. We are all going through hard times. But like Edith has taught us today, do not give up. Head high and ask for help. Ask for help. You can't do it alone. If you have such stories and you feel that you'd like to use my platform to share it, to help others, because that's what we want to do. We want to help the community with inspiring stories like Edith so that we can help inspire each other, motivate each other. Feel free to contact us and we'll get in touch. And let us share your story. Until next time, I am Phil Yambo Makora and this is the Tales of Young.